And businesses in the county, they're on edge in anticipation of the announcement tomorrow. Fox 5's Andrew Nomura continues our team coverage live from Little Italy. Andrew. Well, Marie, we got the chance to speak to the owner of Felipe's Pizza Grotto here along India Street in Little Italy. She tells us that she will not be closing down indoor dining if the county is moved to the purple tier and she's looking uh, to seek legal action against the state. Let's t toss it to video right now. So the owner name is Karen De Filippi. She's been there for a while now here along India Street. She says enough is enough. She will not be closing her uh, her doors for indoor dining. She says it's more profitable uh, compared to outdoor dining. And as we grow closer to winter, she says no one wants to eat outdoors when it rains or when it gets cold. Recently, she sent a letter to county supervisors asking them to come up with their own reopening plan uh, and get local control. Most of all, she's worried about her employees. They are already struggling already. And if they close indoor operations again, she will have to let people go. Take a listen. When you come into to the restaurant and you see him on the verge of tears again, how would you feel? Enough is enough. We need to go forward. There aren't people dying on the street. You know, it's, it's, it's blown way out of proportion. Yeah, De Filippi tells us that she will be seeking legal action against the state if the county is moved to that purple tier. We were actually uh, talking to Cowboy Star Restaurant in downtown just yesterday. That woman, uh, that owner, she says that she is really struggling, really afraid, and she hopes that uh, the county will too uh, take local control and come up with their own reopening plan. For now, we're live here in Little Italy. I'm Andrew Nomura, Fox 5 News.